Good morning. I know you've had a couple of sessions with Coley to talk about the uh, nuts and bolts of what we did the first two days of the meeting. Today we're more in the way of updates, but if I had to categorize the three days of meetings with the managers, I think the overall consensus uh, overwhelmingly is that the game's in good shape. We talked about a lot of little tweaks that we can focus on uh, to maybe you know, make things a little bit smoother, but nothing that I would categorize as problems. Uh, and I think we're in a good place, and we're looking forward to the stretch drive and beginning the playoffs. And with that, I will be happy to take your questions. And Bill Daly is here with me as well. So if there's something I'm not answering to your satisfaction, I'll bring him up. Let him try. Any update on Arizona? Uh, no. <laughs> Bill, you want to try? He didn't like yeah, that I'm answer. <laughs> where, where would you say things are at, though? I mean, obviously, time uh, is of the essence with a schedule no, being put together for next year. We're, we're cognizant of that, and we're also focused on the fact that Alex Morello is working on acquiring what he believes is the best uh, location for the new arena and his overall project. Garrett, how tough is it because, you know, we really don't even know when the auction is. That well, this bill is. I kind of know when the auction okay. is going to be. So, uh, I mean, is there, like, is there, I know we've talked about cutoff dates. Let, we, I have nothing new to add on Arizona. I mean, I know you have lots of questions, uh, but it continues to be uh, something that we're focused on, but more importantly, the ownership of the Coyotes is focused on. And is the league satisfied with their process at this point? Well, we would have preferred to be in a new arena by now, uh, but there are certain things that couldn't be controlled. We would have preferred that the referendum in Tempe went the other way, uh, but it didn't, and so we deal with what we can deal with. Having said that, we believe Arizona, particularly the greater Phoenix area, is a good NHL market, the place we want to be. Uh, you mentioned uh, last time we, we met uh, about uh, the revenues that are going you know, yeah. in the right direction. Um, do you have an update, and is it more than you expected maybe at the beginning of the season? It's in the, it's in the ballpark. Uh, overall revenues in native currency is probably about $6.8 billion, give or take. Uh, HRR, which is converted local into U.S. currency, is probably going to be about $6.2 billion. That's pretty much in line with what we were expecting. We, are, we were expecting a strong, vibrant season, and it has been that from a business standpoint. If you look at the race for the playoff, yes. uh, how excited are you right now? I'm always excited. I, I love watching our game. I think our game's in a good place. Uh, you look at the races for the regular season uh, finale and who's going to make the playoffs. It's, it continues to show how competitive our game is. It's all good. Gary, I think you, you updated the managers on the Four Nations and the schedule for next Build year. Builded. Okay, builded. Builded. Build uh, I guess it's supposed to be a seven day break for the. Bill, come on up. This uh, is yours. For, for, we'll well, I guess for the players who, who uh, aren't part of the event, there'll be a break for them. I yes, guess, it's a back. regular <laughs> mid-season break. It'll happen to be a day longer, but it's a, it's actually eight days because it'll be Monday to Monday. Okay. And then they'll, they'll practice on Tuesday. They'll begin practice on Tuesday the 16th. And no, two, the games will resume on February 22nd, which is a Saturday night. So count back to the Tuesday before then. That's when they start practice. Have you finalized the, the city that will host the Four Nations? Not yet. It's a work in progress, although it's close. Bill, we're and, and, and I promise you, if we had, we would have announced it. <laughs> uh, Bill, r roster, is it still no injury? Like, it's 20 skaters? 20 skaters, three. Uh, repli we, 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 they'll, we'll allow them to replace for bona fide injuries, but once you hit the tournament, it's still there. Okay. Yep. Gary, sadly, with Chris Tucker's death yesterday, obviously a tragedy. Uh, his family released a statement saying, Chris struggled immensely with CTE. Unfortunately, that resulted in his death. Do you have any comments on that? The, it, it, what happened? Chris's passing is tragic. It's sad. Uh, we extend our deepest condolences to his family and friends. And uh, 
you know, on all of these matters, we wait to see what the medical experts tell us. However, having said that, I think it's well documented all the progress that we've made over the last couple of decades to make the game as safe as possible. Hey, Gary, I understand that LPI wasn't necessarily a subject here because it's collectively bargained and already a part of the process. Do you, what's your belief on capping a playoff roster? Well, two things. One, it wasn't a topic of conversation here because it hasn't been that big an issue. The instances of LTI replacement leading into the playoffs, something that we monitor closely, and I think everybody's satisfied that at least to this point there hasn't been game playing in that regard. Uh, you know, the collective bargaining agreement was negotiated uh, almost 20 years ago, and there were certain provisions that were put in uh, which at the time um, made sense and continue to make sense. And, you know, if, if it were to be abused, uh, that would obviously be something we'd want to address with the Players Association. When you say closely monitor, can you offer any insight into how that process... Bonafide goes? injuries and doing what we need to do to satisfy ourselves that these injuries have been bonafide uh, for the period of time that LTI was applicable. You want to add to that? Right. There we go. Anybody else? Well, thank you, and uh, safe travels.